Today I would like to talk about a new remote control car that I built. I named this Race 3 after its predecessor Race 2 because it has the same principle of having four motors and um, one for each wheel, direct drive, um, there's nothing in between, no gears, no nothing, the direct power from the motor to the wheels. And this is of course very powerful and it makes the car pretty fast. Um, one of the new inventions here is that I use the s brick which allows you to use um, uh, proportional steering so you can um, make slight turns, um, a slight right, slight left, instead of the old uh, power function fun motors and remotes where you can only go uh, all forward, all backward and that's it. So proportional steering is of course much nicer. Um, another thing that is new here is that um, we have now individual suspension, so each wheel can actually lift up like this. Um, let me show it from the front, it's a bit easier to see. So each wheel can move up and down, so if each wheel is individual suspended. Um, and this guarantees that there's always uh, uh, some car or some wheel uh, on the ground. Um, I've used here the soft suspension um, so that um, you actually do get some movement in here if it's too stiff. Um, uh, it wouldn't really work. This uh, vehicle overall is rather light, so um, the soft shocks are actually the best you can do. Um, another little invention, of course, is that the battery case is uh, very low, uh, giving it a low center of gravity, which is important for uh, climbing up uh, steep hills. Uh, still, that has a lot of clearance, um, so um, there's a lot of clearance in here for you to get over obstacles. Um, another important thing to see is that I have built a special uh, mount for um, the wheels, uh, in the sense that I'm using here a ball bearing, um, so that the motor axle is actually um, uh, held by a ball bearing so that the weight of the car is uh, on the ball bearing um, and not on any kind of regular uh, Lego hole um, and that makes of course again uh, the ride much faster and much smoother. Um, to secure um, the, uh, the, the all of this uh, I had to introduce this little black piece here uh, just to keep everything attached and Another interesting thing is that by attaching the wheels like this, what you see is that the center of the rotation is actually almost, the motor is actually almost inside of the wheel, uh, which is a very good thing. These wheels are slightly curved, as you see, which means that um, well, no matter if the car is like this or a little bit bent, um, there'll always be a little bit of tire on the road instead of, for example, using a flat. Uh, tire. The vehicle is very fast and it can climb very steep hills and it is also very safe to go down very dark. It is also very safe to drive this vehicle down some very steep uh, rocks and hills. Um, that's all very good. Alternatively what you can do is you can use different wheels. Um, if you like a little bit more clearance you can also use these very big wheels. Um, that will just go in here and again the wheels almost go over um, the hold over the ball bearing um, so that the ball bearing is actually inside of the wheel which is very good um, so uh, with these big wheels you get a little bit more speed obviously and you get more clearance um, and uh, that might make it better for very rough terrain um, the only disadvantage is that um, these wheels are so big that it gets so fast that this comes at the price of um, having a lot of force. So that means uh, the vehicle like this will not be as able to go up as steep uh, hills as uh, the wheel with the smaller, uh, the car with the smaller wheels. So it's your choice. The only important thing is that you need to have wheels which have a very big rim so that these um, that uh, the um, 
ball bearing actually and all of this fits into the rim um, otherwise the wheels will be standing out quite a bit making this very wide car um, like this it is pretty safe to drive and it's pretty fast so four-wheel drive uh, a lot of power uh, s brick with uh, the four ports uh, all of them being used uh, proportional steering low center of gravity um, and uh, this is an ideal little car to drive around your rocks and outside and um, it's a perfect climber most of all or crawler well it's not really a crawler because it actually this thing speeds up any kind of hill it doesn't compromise speed for climbing ability so this thing will speed up any mountain and it will uh, go down extremely fast downhill um, and so it's a really really good off-road vehicle i hope you enjoy this video